All right, Crush, I'm gonna try to show you guys how I make my ice cream. A lot of people have been asking. So I use, obviously, casein protein. And I put 50 grams of weight of protein in here, or of uh, powder. And 50 grams of powder is about 35 grams of protein, if that makes sense. So I don't know if CJ, you can see, it's so 52 grams. So that's basically about, uh -huh. um, that's basically about, that's 35 grams of protein. 50 grams of weight of casein for 35 grams of protein. And then I put in a, quite a bit of milk. Just unsweeten all the milk. See, that fills it up quite a bit. Just use silk almond milk. Get it cheap for Costco. And I kind of start to beat it like a pancake. Pancake mix with a fork. Just got to mix it up quite a bit. Trying to get all the clumps out. Makes it nice and even. Make sure there's no powder at the bottom of the, the bowl. So I keep turning it. Kind of like I would imagine, you know, maybe use a whisk or something to make your pancakes. I don't know why I've always used a fork, but I use a fork. You can see it's getting pretty thick. It's getting real thick. But it's starting to thin out. I'm, I'm going to just keep mixing it until I see no more clumps of casein in there. That's kind of my goal is I don't want to see any clumps. And that's been quite a bit of milk. I'm going to put a little more in there. Because I don't want it that thick. You can see I use exact measurements. Joking, ha ha ha. <clears throat> Keep mixing it up in the bowl. Mix, mix, mix. You can see the consistency there. It's probably like a really thick pancake batter. That's kind of what I equate that to. Like if I was making pancakes, if I was making Kodiak cakes or something, I wouldn't want it that thick. I'd probably want it a little thinner than that. That's kind of the thickness. Maybe cake batter is a better analogy. side of the bowl. I don't feel any more protein at the bottom of the bowl, so I've got it all mixed up pretty good, I think. Mix, 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 mix. Just like you do with pancakes, gotta lick the spoon. I'm gonna put that in the freezer and we'll come back in a little bit. Just going to pause it. So this has been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. You can see it's starting to thicken up kind of like ice cream. So what I do is I get some of the really good icy stuff that's kind of stuck to the bowl. And I mix that in with the other stuff. So I kind of dig at it, mix it up a little bit more. Not much this time, but it's definitely starting to harden up and starting to look like ice cream. And then, I'm done doing this. Mix it up a little bit again. There's a bunch on this side. Let's scrape it off. Once again, you gotta lick the spoon. Back in the freezer it goes. Stop. Just stop. All right, guys. So here's the final final product. It's definitely starting to ice up. It's definitely cold. It's definitely not going to be grainy. I'll mix it up a little bit more. I won't bore you with that. I have Dawson ate like a half a banana. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put banana in there because I hate wasting food. And that'll be how I get my casein for the night. Some chocolate ice cream with some banana. Well, I think in case anybody's curious, well, that's it. Go ahead and stop.